This morning I'm starting up some enchilada chicken. Just really, really basic. I have four boneless, skinless chicken breasts in there and one can of enchilada sauce. So I am gonna let that cook on high all day. That'll probably go six hours and then I'll shred it up and I'll have it through the week to make enchiladas. I'm leaving the house, the other house in Florida that we bought that we're renovating. So I am in charge of the decor and kind of the design. Kevin's mad at me right now. He's in the house pouting. He's gonna be out in a minute, but. So I picked, the one request I had was I wanna have a bathtub where, I mean, I have to have good water pressure. I cannot stand low water pressure. So I picked out this faucet. Um, and it's got a little handheld thing to do my hair because my hair is long and I prefer to take a tub. But apparently the one I picked out has some kind of gauge on it that is withholding the water pressure. So it's like spitting in the tub. So Kevin's mad at me because now we can't return it because it was special order. And so now we have to go try to find something different. And he is walking through the house pouting. Um, I told him I'd go without him, but chances are I'll pick something wrong because I don't know how do I know. I'm telling you guys, I maybe this is not a popular um, thing to say, but I want water pressure like a fire hose. I mean, I, I just don't like it dripping. Okay, here, here he comes, so I have to go. Okay, now that we have that handled, it's been about five hours I'm home. My chicken is finished. So all I'm going to do is scoop the chicken out and put it on some low-carb wraps with about one to two tablespoons of low-fat cheese. And I'm going to wrap that up. And then I'm going to put the extra chicken over the top. And we're going to bake it in the oven at 375 for about 20 or 30 minutes. Now you can put cheese on top of this, no problem. I did not, but it would be really a delicious addition. So this is only two points per one enchilada and it is super delicious. Today I'm going to be making my cowboy casserole. This is one of my favorites and I usually do this in a casserole dish, but today I'm going to do it in my slow cooker and make it a little bit more chili-like. This is such a versatile recipe. You can do it, like I mentioned, as a chili. You can wrap it up in a low-carb wrap, like kind of like a little burrito. You can use it as a dip with tortilla chips. You can put it on a tostada. I love this recipe. So let me catch you up with what I have in my slow cooker so far. So this morning I sliced up a red onion, threw that in my crock pot along with a pound and a half of lean ground beef. And then I also have two tablespoons of minced garlic, one can of chili beans, one can of roasted garlic diced tomatoes, and one can of cannellini beans. Now on the beans, you can switch this up however you like. Those are just the ones that I had on hand. Then of course I have salt and pepper in here. So the next thing I'm gonna do, this has been going for about an hour, so it's a little bit cooked through, but we're gonna cook this all day, probably six hours. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put about two tablespoons of the cowboy chili mix. 
This is basically a kind of like a taco seasoning if you can't find a chili mix. But if you can find this, I got it at Costco and it's really delicious. Then I'm gonna throw in two caps of apple cider vinegar. That just lifts the flavor a little bit and kind of softens the beans. I just think it works well with it. And then I'm also gonna put one block of one third less fat cream cheese in there as well and let everything start working together. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna throw in our cream cheese. You could half this if you want to, but I am not a huge fan of melted shredded cheese. So I like the soft cheese. So I'm just gonna use the whole block. And then we're gonna put our cowboy chili mix in. And on this, you can do more than two tablespoons if you want to just kind of according to what you like, but I like to start a little bit light on it. All right, let's get that mixed up. So I'm just gonna get this mixed up a little bit and then we'll pop the lid back on. I've had this on high for about an hour because I wanted to kind of get the hamburger browned up a bit but I am now gonna kick this back to low because I'm gonna be going out to do some things today. All right, oh my goodness, this smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna kick this back to low and we're gonna let it hang out.